With a recent update, it is now possible to control Lively externally through command prompt or scripts. So today, I will show you how you can set it up and some examples to go along with that. So first of all, make sure that you're running the latest version of Lively. Then let's check out the documentation. To reach the documentation, if you're on the subreddit, you can just click the wiki link and that will take you to the documentation. Today we are looking at command line controls. Now I spend a lot of time writing this documentation. I know many of you don't read it, which is very sad. All right, my problems aside. To get started, that there are two ways that you can do this. So the first way is to directly send the message to the Lively application. To do that, let's find the Lively executable. Right click the Lively icon, open file location. Uh, this is a shortcut. So again, open file location. There you go, Lively WPF.exe. So this is the Lively executable. We're going to try sending a message I'm going to try changing the audio. So shift click, right click, then open PowerShell window here or command prompt window. So the application is livewpf.exe. Press tab. Let's try changing the volume. Now, as you can see, it took about one second before the message is processed. So that is one of the limitation of this method. The other limitation is you can, there is no help documentation. So the other approach is to download the lively command utility. extract it's a zip so you have to extract it now with this there is no longer a delay so lively there's also a help documentation to go along with that now let me sh show you how how it's, it's the same thing really now as you can see there's no delay in this so it's instant Now optionally, you can also add this to the uh, path variable so that you can call this from any location. To do that, go to system properties, advanced system settings, environmental variables, path, edit. You can browse and select that location. After doing that, and you can directly control this from any location. For example, so that's awesome. The next thing we're going to do, let's look at some examples, right? So let's see, let's try setting a wallpaper. So lively see you right and set wallpaper help. So we have to give the file location. File location can be two things. It can either be the project file location. So if you right click open file location, this is the project file location because there's a lively info file. So you copy that, then you do this file there you go it's that simple now it can also be the actual file location if the file is already in the library so let's add something first any initial defense here 
so yeah we added that close it all right now in this case this is the actual location so you have to give the full pa file path so set wallpaper file you actually have to give the full path like this there you go the thing we're going to do today is customize wallpaper for those of you who don't know many of the lively wallpapers can be customized so for the rain one for example right click select customize wallpaper a lot of the parameters can be customized as you can see to do this you need to know what values that you need to customize so let's look at the documentation help set property customize wallpaper so set property help so this you need to give the property field the property field goes like this key value value to know the key value just right click the wallpaper open file location then you will see a lively property file and then you can see that it matches with what you see so what you the key value is the name of the field here rain intensity so let's try it out lively see you set property property rain intensity it can take value minimum 0 maximum 100 so let's give it 0 there you go it's that simple right let's try another one this is a video file that, that was a web page now this is a video file right so customize we can do saturation hue pretty cool now if you go again if you do that again you won't find the file there's no lively property why because video files by default have a file that you know, i'm creating a file for you so you won't see that file to access that file you don't have to access the file actually you can just look at the documentation the default lively property of media files can be referred here you click here and there you go this is the property right Sat saturation hue let's try changing something right so let's try lively see you set property property saturation you so that that looks like night time and minus date orange default all right so that is actually what i'm going to do today all right now let's do the same thing but using a shortcut you go to an empty location right click new file Let's call it uh, eternal light day. Edit the same command that we did here minus 25, which is orange. So we're going to write it over here lively cu.exe set property property hue minus 25. Now we're going to change the extension. If you don't see the extension, you'll have to turn it on in windows we're going to change it to bat yeah, try running it nothing happened which is not what i wanted um what happened okay yeah so like this i messed it up my bad there you go orange right there's one downside though i don't want this window popping up so to do that you can right click create a shortcut now you made a new shortcut right click go to properties 
start run minimized there you go right we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna copy that and we're going to create this one for night time so night I want to edit it uh, let's go for blue so that's basically 75 we're gonna do the same thing create shortcut minimized pretty cool right Now that we have the shortcut, the next thing I want to do is I want to run this script automatically at a certain time during the day and during the night so that I have this day and night effect. To do that, to do that, you can use the task scheduler. You go over here, create a basic task, it, uh, give it a name description run the task daily and you give i'm gonna give it six o'clock six a.m in the morning you start a program now i'm going to give the path to the shortcut yeah okay so we're gonna daytime shortcut next and create it similar to that you can create one for the night time for 6 p.m and this should run automatically 